all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. Please remember these are general readings. Lots of people, lots of questions. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you are looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you would like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at terrysinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the citrine. Reading number two with the tourmaline. Reading number three with the tiger's eye. Reading number four with the amazonite. And reading number five with the onyx. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition will not lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the citrine. The properties of citrine are prosperity, confidence, and ambition. So those may resonate with your question or just you in general in some way. Now let's take a look at your yes or no angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I will shuffle until the deck feels ready, and then I will cut, and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, so let's see here that's good we'll get this to hold the cards okay so we start with the eight of swords the eight of swords talks about stuck energy really feeling stuck like you can't move forward next we see the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles says that your abundance will come in but you have to wait for the situations to mature there is some delay in receiving your abundance you have to let it grow next we see the two of swords the two of swords talks about a stalemate some situation where you don't see your way out next we see the five of pentacles the five of pentacles talks about fear around money or loneliness um, could be fear of poverty not actual poverty but the fear of it and topping everything off we have the two of pentacles the two of pentacles talks about kind of walking that financial tightrope trying to figure out how you're going to spend your money where you're going to live all of that sort of thing all right, this looks like a pretty strong no to whatever you ask tarot. Many of you may be asking financial questions with all the coins coming out like that, or at least feeling stuck in the financial situation you're in. Now let's take a look at your situations. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number one. All right, the star, that's beautiful. So receiving a gift from the divine, also going through a healing period. The page of coins. The page of coins says there's an opportunity out there. You're gonna have to take action. It's gonna have a positive impact on your financial material resource situation. So yes, page of coins talks about that opportunity. You have to take the action for it to start though. 
The Nine of Swords talks about the anxiety you guys are feeling. Now, obviously, I'm not diagnosing anything. Anxiety is a feeling. Anxiety is worry about future circumstances, situations. So looking to the future and being worried about what's going to happen there. Whatever this, whatever's causing this anxiety, we're going to get Oracle to see kind of how you step out of it. And then the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups talks about looking back, seeing how much you've grown, really appreciating how far you have come. Also possibly reconnecting with things from your youth. Now let's take a look at Oracle, starting with the Angel deck. Angels, for group number one, please. Seek within. Okay, yes, you're going to have to go inside. You're going to have to do the internal work. Your guides probably want you to meditate a little bit so that they can talk to you directly. So take some time, go inside, and really check on your emotions and your soul space. Now, the Nine of Swords... It's time to take action. Okay, so whatever it is that's causing you all of this worry about the future, that's you know keep giving you sleepless nights or just you know anxious feelings, it's time to take action. There's something you can do about this. You can actually make changes, and it's probably this action right here in the page of coins because this is probably related to the financial thing. Um, it doesn't have to be, but for some of you, it is. It's time for you guys to take action, to step out of this worrying about the future, because really we have to live in the now. We can't change. I mean, like we can set the path for the future, but we can't really truly know what's going to happen. So there's no reason to worry about what's going to happen in the future. We've got to take the action in the now. In fact, I'm going to use Moonology for this page of coins as well. So what is there for the page of coins? Communication is key. All right. So this opportunity, there's going to be communication involved in it. It may be as simple, like the action you have to take may be as simple as telling someone, yeah, I, I want to do that. Yes, I would like that job. Yes, I want to, you know, take this opportunity. Whatever it is, communication is going to be key to that. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon, and we're going to start with the Six of Cups here. What is there for the Six of Cups out of Queen of the Moon? New beginnings. Okay, so the Six of Cups is about looking back, seeing how far you've come, really appreciating your growth. And as you look backwards, you are also starting a new beginning. This appreciation that you have for yourself, for the work that you've put in, for the growth that you've made, is going to lead to a beautiful new beginning for you. Now, the star. Long night moon, the darkness. Okay, this is a gift from the divine that is coming out of the darkness. It's just coming out of nowhere. So this is a wonderful gift coming in. And um, it's, it's going to have a positive impact. Also, the healing aspect of this, it has been a long time coming. You guys have needed to focus on your healing for a while. So focus, go inside, focus on your healing, whatever it is you need in your soul space to heal. It's time for you to do that. Now, let's see the transparent tarot. Talents. Okay, so the answer was no, and it was a pretty strong no to whatever you asked, Tarot. Your talent has some bearing on that. So the answer is no because of your talent in some way or talent resonates with your question in some way. Now, let's take a look at the little starseed deck. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number one, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with guidance. You are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. That is so true. And call out and ask for guidance from your guides. Meditate and ask for guidance. They're there to help you. Next, you get choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. Absolutely. Instead of worrying about the future, stay conscious in your thoughts and really 
put your energy into the path you want to choose. That's going to help direct your path. And finally, fruition. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Absolutely, they will. Your dreams are coming towards you. The answer to whatever your question was is no, but that doesn't mean your dreams are not coming towards you. All right, that is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the tourmaline. The properties of tourmaline are focus, flexibility, and clarity. So those things may resonate with your question in some way or with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I will shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go once more. Okay, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right. So we start with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is celebrations and having things to celebrate. So that's wonderful energy. Next, we see the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands talks about unity. It talks about good news coming in. It can even talk about travel. Next, we see the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands can talk about fighting. So you may be dealing with fighting in some way, or it could be fighting as in putting your energy in, really fighting for what you want. Next, we see the world. The world is completion. So it's possible this fight that you have been putting in is coming to completion. Okay, I'm going to stop there. This looks very positive. Looks like a yes to whatever you asked, Arrow. Now, let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number two. Thank you, thank you. All right, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords says you've been dealing with some challenges and tests, but those are almost over. The Knight of Swords, very fast-moving energy, and it says those are coming to an end. They're not going to last much longer. Next, we see the King of Swords. Okay, so the King of Swords, It th these can also represent people. Um, they're very intelligent energy with the swords very action oriented, you know, really strategizing. Now the King of Swords, it also talks about challenges and tests. This says that as far as the challenges and tests go, they are probably significant for you, but you have got the pieces that you need to overcome it. Your, your intelligence, your strategizing, you can do it. Next, we see the world. That's the second time seeing the world. Something is coming to completion here. And then the Eight of Wands. Very fast-moving situations. So you've got fast-moving energy with the Knight of Swords, fast-moving energy with the Eight of Wands. Things are moving very quickly. Something is coming to completion for you. Now, let's see Oracle for everything. We'll start with the angel deck. Angels for group number two, please. Nurture your dreams. Yes, see how she's got the tiny little seedling and she's nurturing it to a giant tree? That is what your dreams need. Whatever it is you're dreaming, nurture it. Really give it some energy. Allow it to grow. Now, let's see the king of swords with moonology. What is there? to assist with the King of Swords. Meditate and contemplate. Okay, so the King of Swords was about you having 
what you needed to be able to overcome it. Your intelligence, your strategizing, all of that. You're being told meditate and contemplate if you do not clearly see the answers to the challenges you're facing. You have the answers. You just need to give yourself some time to sort through it. So do a little bit of meditating, contemplate on the situation. You're going to see your way out of it pretty quickly. Now, let's also see this Knight of Swords. What is there for the Knight of Swords here? A fiery climax approaches. Yes, the Knight of Swords talks about the challenge almost being over. Like, it is quickly coming to a resolution. A fiery climax is, it's headed your way. If this Five of Wands is you actually dealing with fighting and arguing and that kind of controversy, that may be, you know, kind of uh, noteworthy in the ending because you've got the fiery climax, but it's almost over. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon for the Eight of Wands. What is there to add to the Eight of Wands? Things are moving so fast. Power. Okay. So, even with the fast-moving situations, you have a great power within you. Part of your power is that you can deal with things moving quickly around you. And it is powerful energy moving things forward. Now, completion in the world. We're going to use the spellcasting oracle for that, for the completion. Compassion. Okay. So the universe pouring out compassion on you, whatever is coming to completion, I think that you're going to be very excited for it to be finished, for it to be done. Because compassion is the energy that's defining it. Now, the transparent tarot empowerment okay so the answer was yes to whatever you asked tarot empowerment is part of it you're going to find yourself empowered by the answer being yes or the energy that is being defined here you are being empowered in some way by this response from your guides now let's see the little starseed deck angels spirit guides and so oh, there we go thank you thank you thank you okay so let's see we get advancement a strong energy is propelling you forward follow the stirrings of your heart yes follow your heart it's not going to lead you wrong you also get creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. And finally, wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. For those of you where this is fighting and controversy and arguing, you can rise above this. You don't need to waste your energy on this kind of you know bickering and arguing sort of situation your energy has much better uses so shine your spiritual light and just you know this is an opportunity for you to kind of rise above it all right that is all i have for reading number two Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the tiger's eye. Well, the properties of Tiger's Eye are confidence, fearlessness, and daring. So those may resonate with your question in some way or just you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no answer. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number three thank you thank you thank you all right so i will shuffle until the deck feels ready then i'll cut and we'll deal right from the top taking three to six cards and that will get us our yes or no answer okay so let's see here all right, that should do it. We'll get this to hold the cards. 
Okay. So we're going to start with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands talks about fast moving situations, situations moving very quickly around you. Next, we see the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords talks about worry. It can be worry related to work or home, but there's significant worry. Next, we see the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, it can talk a little bit about dealing with boredom, or it can say that possibly you're looking at things the way you wish they were versus the way they actually are. Next, we see the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a wonderful energy. Um, it can represent a person, so it could represent you or someone you're dealing with. Lots of compassionate love going on there. So this very compassionate, um, doesn't have to be romantic love, but it is love in its truest form that is you know full of compassion and caring. Next, we see the Four of Coins. The Four of Coins or Pentacles talks about having stable financial foundations, but it says that you might be clinging to your money a little bit too tightly and you need to release it so that it can come back to you because you can create a lack mindset. Next, we see the Tower. The Tower talks about change. That tops everything off. The tower is, it change doesn't have to be negative, but it is the breaking down of something for the rebuilding of something else. Okay, so this looks like the answer is probably most likely no to whatever you are asking tarot. The tower um, kind of holds a negative aspect to it, as well as the five of swords. Um, things are moving quickly. There is the need to deal with a lack mindset regarding money if you have it. Um, but this looks like the answer probably no to whatever you ask Tarot. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number three, please show us their situations. All right, so you got the Two of Wands. That is partnerships flourishing. The Wheel, that's beautiful. Luck and fate turning in your favor. Five of Wands, so there is some fighting, some controversy, um, possibly having to really put your energy in and fight for what you want. And the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords kind of talks about anxiety, and I'm not talking about, you know, like a diagnosis or anything like that. I'm talking about the feeling of anxiety. Anxiety is a feeling. It's fear regarding the future. So many of you dealing with anxiety, possibly even sleepless nights, worrying about what's going to happen. Now, let's take a look at Oracle for everything. So angels, for group number three, please, whatever they need to hear. Step into the light. Yes, your light, the light of your angels, beautiful light energy. So step into the light. Don't let yourself get bogged down with worry or fighting. Step into the light energy. Now, let's take a look at Moonology. We're going to start with the Five of Wands. What is there that they can do to step out of this Five of Wands energy? It's a time to give rather than take. All right, so with regards to the fighting and or controversy or even fighting to get what you want, it's a time to give of yourself rather than focusing on taking. If you give freely of yourself, it'll probably alleviate some of this controversy. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon for the Nine of Swords. What is there to add to the Nine of Swords here? creation. Okay. So instead of worrying about the future, you're being advised to create the future. Use your mind, create the path you want to go down. Instead of worrying that negative things are going to impact you, focus on the idea that positive things are going to impact you. And that will change the path and your thought processes and help alleviate some of this worry. Now, let's see the Two of Wands. 
the void. All right, so these partnerships are just starting. You're possibly, you know, haven't even stepped into them yet or going to be stepping into them very, very soon, but they are beginning. The void is where everything starts. It's the beginning. And your partnerships that you're developing now, they're gonna flourish, they're gonna grow. They're going to be with you down the next portion of your path. Now, let's see the wheel out of Spellcasting Oracle. Travel. Okay. So, luck and fate turning in your direction. Travel has some, asp has some bearing on it. Now, the travel card doesn't necessarily have to be travel. It can be moving forward. The idea of moving forward, moving on, starting something new. So luck and fate turning in your direction as you move forward, which with the tower, that's changed. So you are moving out of energy of uh, the energy you've been dealing with into a more positive energy. Beauty coming out to clarify your transparent tarot. All right. So when I see this beauty card, I always feel the need to remind you that you are beautiful exactly the way you are. You don't have to change for anybody. You are beautiful. You are made exactly as you're supposed to be made and you are you and that is a beautiful thing. So do not fret about anything with regards to your physical person or you know anything. You are beautifully, wonderfully you, okay? And also with the beauty coming out as clarification on what appears to be a no. It's not like a really solid, strong no. It's more of a softer no or a not right now or, you know, probably not. But, uh, but I think many of you are probably happy with it because beauty came out and um, clarified it. So let's see the little starseed deck for group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you know what? I think I saw another. There we go. Yep. Okay. So we're going to start with vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. And then blue star, follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. Yes, follow your inner compass, especially when dealing with controversy. It'll help lead you right out of it. Light, it's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. So it is. And then ascension your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness you are ready for this you got ascension and vibration both about kind of raising your vibration there are sometimes growing pains when you are taking those steps forward but do not fret things are going to go your way and do not forget you are beautiful all right that is all i have for reading number three Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the Amazonite. The properties of Amazonite are luck, abundance, and comfort. So that may resonate with your question in some way or just with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. So here we go. All right, let's get this to hold the cards. Okay. We start with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about overwhelming situations, feeling overwhelmed, carrying too much weight on your back. 
Next, we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords represents challenges and tests that you're dealing with. It says that you can strategize your way through them. You have the intelligence and the, the pieces that you need to overcome them, but the tests themselves are significant. And then the devil comes out to top everything off. The devil talks about stuck energy. It can talk about addiction. It can talk about... Um, it can talk about love triangles, any kind of really stuck energy. Okay, this is a very solid no to whatever you ask tarot. So a very strong no. Now, let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Five of Wands talks about fighting and possibly fighting and putting your energy in to get what you want, but also maybe fighting with others. Six of Swords, that talks about moving on, but says you might be carrying some emotional baggage with you. However, in this deck, the swords are not in the boat, so maybe you're getting past it already. Nine of Cups, that talks about uh, wish fulfillment, a dream come true. So stepping into some situation in your life that feels like a wish come true for you. And the sun, super positivity. So beautiful growth. I feel like with these oracle cards, uh, with these situation cards, some of you are extremely happy that the answer to your question is no. All right, let's take a look at Oracle. So angels for group number four, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kindness, okay. The universe pouring out kindness for you and you, um, yeah, being asked to share your kindness with others. Let's see this for five of wands. What is there to add to the five of wands? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, so with all the fighting that you've been doing, whether you're fighting and putting your energy in to get what you want, or you're fighting as in controversy, arguing, that sort of thing, this cycle is coming to an end. So the end of a tough cycle is approaching. You're going to be stepping out of that energy. Now let's also see the Six of Swords with Moonology. What is there for the Six of Swords here? Don't let your past hold you back. Yes, that is kind of what the Six of Swords means all by itself. You're moving forward, moving beyond situations, coming out of something. Do not bring it with you. Do not let what has happened in the past have a bearing on the future. So release any emotional baggage that you can as you move forward. Now for this Nine of Cups, this wish fulfillment, dream come true, what is there to add here? Ooh, extremes. Okay, so this is very significant for you. There is a very positive, it, it's being defined as extreme. It's also passion involved in the extremes card. So there may be passion involved in your dream come true, but it is, you know, a dream come true that is defined by extremes. So very significant. Now let's see the sun because the sun is super positive. It is growth and just, you know, light and beautiful, positive energy. Now for the sun. Talents. All right. So your talent is growing. Whatever it is that you're talented at, and it doesn't have to be dancing or singing or something like that. It could be your unique talent. We're, we all have talents and gifts that we, that we um, excel at, and you are growing through yours. So it is a beautiful situation for you. Now for the transparent tarot and the no willpower. Okay. So willpower playing some form of um, bearing on your question. The answer to your question was a pretty strong no, and willpower has something to do with that. Now let's take a look at the Starseed deck. Angels, spirit guides, thank you. Okay. So fruition, rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition for sure. Lots of positive energy encircling you guys. 
Now you also get blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Yes, let love guide you, especially if you're dealing with fighting. Let love be your guide. And finally, intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. Absolutely. Your intuition is on point. It's been guiding you. The answer to your question is no, but I feel like for most of you, that's a really positive thing. All right. That is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the onyx. The properties of onyx are willpower, strength, and protection. Those may have some bearing on your question or just resonate with you in general some way. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I will shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, so let's see here. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right. So we start with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups talks about looking back, seeing how far you've come, seeing how much you've grown. Next, we see the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles says that there's an opportunity that has a positive impact on your financial material situation, but it's slow moving. It's getting here, it's just kind of slow. Next, we see the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles probably represents um, kind of a financial tightrope. Some of you may be walking, trying to figure out how you're going to pay for things, but it's, you know, hopefully is going to be ending soon when this Knight of Pentacles gets here. Next, we see the Wheel. The Wheel is luck and fate turning in your favor, things being on your side, and topping everything off, we have the sun. The sun is the most positive card in the tarot. Absolute growth and brightness, very, very positive. All right, this looks like a yes to whatever you ask, tarot. Now, let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, five of wands, so dealing with some fighting or really putting your energy in, fighting for what you want. The Hierophant, the Hierophant can represent, um, it represents foundational energy. It can represent marriage or going back to school or finding, you know, a religious, you know, situation that really resonates with you, making foundational changes to kind of the bedrock of your life. Now, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Swords talks about anxiety. So really some form of anxiety and I'm not diagnosing anything. This is worry about the future. So, you know, you guys are in some way worried about the future, how things are going to play out. It could even be causing some sleeplessness. And then the Queen of Wands, that's beautiful energy. You are stepping into the true, authentic you. You are stepping into the person you are meant to be, and that is beautiful. Now, let's look at Oracle for everything. Angels, for group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nurture your dreams. Whatever it is you're dreaming of, whatever it is you hope for, nurture that. Let it grow. 
Now, let's see Moonology for the Five of Wands. What is there for the Five of Wands for group number five, please? Emotions are running high. So if this is you fighting with someone, arguing with someone, part of the reason this argument is happening is because emotions are running really high. So maybe everybody take a break, take a breather, and get those emotions down to a normal simmer. Now let's see the Nine of Swords, the anxiety that you guys are dealing with, with regards to the future. Your dreams need a practical plan. So some of you are worrying about your dreams and stepping into your hopes and dreams. Your dreams need a practical plan. That's going to alleviate some of the worry about the future as you start planning those action steps for stepping into your dreams. And you're told to nurture your dreams. So really put the energy in. You can step into whatever it is you're dreaming of. You just have to choose to do it. Now let's see the Queen of Wands with Queen of the Moon self-love all right part of this stepping into your authentic self is self-love self-love is taking care of you it is treating yourself the way you deserve to be treated it's making sure that your mind and your body are a healthy wonderful place for your soul to live so do what you need to to take care of you it's going to help you step more so into your true authentic self now let's see the spell casting oracle for the hierophant what is there for the hierophant here trust okay so as you make these foundational changes you need to trust yourself you need to trust your instincts you need to trust the process the universe these are going to be foundational changes that you're making whether it's getting married or going back to school and changing your career or something i mean it's something significant like that trust yourself you can trust you now let's see the transparent tarot justice justice talks about balance so just make sure that you are approaching things from a balanced perspective balancing work and play balancing passion and emotion the answer was yes to whatever you asked tarot and it's a pretty significant yes balance is going to need to be a part of it though now let's take a look at the little star seed deck for group number five angels spirit guides ancestors for group number five please thank you thank you thank you okay so we got four all right we're going to start with signs the universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities so make sure you're paying attention next you get ascension your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness you are ready for this absolutely you are you also get advancement a strong energy is propelling you forward follow the stirrings of your heart your heart will not lead you wrong and finally inner worlds your external world is a reflection of your inner world so if you spend a lot of time worrying that's going to manifest in your life so make sure you keep those thoughts positive all right that is all i have for reading number five thank you so much for spending your time with me if you enjoyed your reading please make sure you click that subscribe button until next time love light courage and strength to each and every one of you bye bye